All right, today we're going over whether or not muscle soreness is a good indication that you're actually growing. And spoiler alert to me, it absolutely is, but not the way you think. Let's get after it. So I'm gonna have to do something with After Effects because I used to have a bunch of poster boards, but in a previous video, I just drew a bunch of penises because I couldn't get the angle just right. So that's why I don't have them. So if you've seen a video covering this in the past, then more than likely they presented this topic by introducing you to the three mechanisms of growth. You got mechanical tension, which is just simply progressive overload. Metabolic stress, which is my personal favorite, that's constant tension or the autoerotic asphyxiation of muscle building. And then finally, muscle damage or muscle soreness. And the contention comes from the fact that soreness does not have to be present for growth to take place. You can go the route of mechanical tension or metabolic stress and get very little soreness, but still experience growth. That's why you'll see people lose their fucking minds, smashing their keys, saying soreness does not equal growth. But here's the thing, even the scientific community can't agree on what muscle soreness is. Every year they come up with a new study where they electrocute some people, and then they realize, well, maybe it's not in the muscle fibers, maybe it's in the connective tissue. Better go electrocute some more people. And then they do, and they realize, well, maybe it's a result of inflammation back to electrocuting people. Needless to say, scientists have been sword fighting about this for years, but to me that doesn't matter because I don't think that's important. I don't think it's a three horse race. I think it comes down to choosing whether you're gonna train based upon mechanical tension, which is progressive overload, or metabolic stress, which is constant tension, and using muscle soreness as your measuring stick. And the reason I argue that muscle soreness does equal growth is because it's your feedback loop for everything related to building muscle. For instance, how do you know whether or not you properly hit the muscle you were trying to target through soreness? If you try to hit traps and you wake up the next morning and you got a horrible pain in your gooch, you missed it. And it's also a great measuring tool to figure out if you're training hard enough. I don't care if you're focused on constant tension or progressive overload. If you train legs and the next day you feel like you could train them again, I don't need to see your logbook to tell you that you did a horrible job. And I've also heard people say you shouldn't aim to be overly sore because it'll have a serious impact on performance. So you train legs on Thursday, you go to hit them again on Tuesday, but they're still sore, you're going to take a performance hit. But that's also assuming you're a four-year-old and you can't adjust your schedule and take an extra day or two off of rest because to me, you earn the right to rest more. Your body will adapt and you won't need as much rest in the future. But what you can't do is avoid it because the inevitable next question that people ask is, well, how do I reduce soreness? And not is that not the right question to ask, it can be counterproductive because if you try to take a bunch of anti-inflammatories or really do anything to reduce the inflammation, now you're inhibiting muscle growth because you just spent all that time in the gym destroying yourself and now you're gonna run from that pain and not let your body adapt. Here's a good analogy to relate it to. Say you come home and you find your wife chugging a bunch of wieners. You can't run to the bar and down a bunch of whiskey because we've all seen the music video for Whiskey Lullaby. Didn't turn out great. So at the end of the day, Soreness doesn't equal growth, but it's more important than that. It's your guide on whether or not you're hitting the muscles you're trying to target, you're training with enough intensity, and you're recovering from your workouts. It's a pretty big fucking deal. And a quick note on the last one, if you're not recovering like you used to, that's a good sign that there's something internally going on. Get your blood work done. You shouldn't be sore for weeks on end. You're probably fucked up. So if you haven't got a chance to check out the program, I'll leave a link in the description. It's 30 days, 20 videos, 20 bucks. Pretty damn simple. And if you haven't watched these two videos, I'd watch those next. But most importantly, subscribe, hit the notification bell, get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon. 